here is my Wednesday morning uh, NFL Draft Eve top 10, and I've got more changes in my top 10. All right, the first two are really easy. Trevor Lawrence going to the Jags. Zach Wilson is going to the Jets. I still have Mac Jones going to the 49ers because he has become a pretty substantial favorite in the third spot. I think the Falcons are going to stick with Kyle Pitts. I don't think there's going to be some great demand for somebody to trade up with them. I think that the Bengals are going to go Jamar Chase, wide receiver over lineman. In the sixth spot, we've been talking a little bit about this. I think that the Broncos are the most likely team to trade up because they have something that the Dolphins would like, which is still a top 10 pick. And I think the Dolphins then drop back and take the Broncos' number nine pick. With the sixth pick that the Broncos are claiming, I think they take Trey Lance. In the seven spot, with the uh, with the Detroit Lions, I'm going to adjust my thinking here. I think the Lions go Jalen Waddle, take him off the board. I think Waddle's going to go before Devontae Smith. Uh, the Lions have lost Kenny Galladay. I did have the Lions taking a defensive player, and I still don't think that's necessarily a bad move. Uh, But I think uh, the likelihood is that just maybe, again, I had Micah Parsons going there yesterday, but I'm thinking more and more about Jared Goff and how maybe they want to give him a weapon given the fact that Galladay is leaving. And so Jalen Waddell, explosive player inside on the turf in Detroit, I think he could be a big-time difference maker. So I have got Waddle now going to seven to the Detroit Lions. Then I think that the Panthers end up taking Justin Fields. And really, this is kind of a gamble on Matt Rule and Joe Brady and the belief that they can find one of these guys, either Teddy Bridgewater, Sam Darnold, or Justin Fields to be able to run their offense efficiently. And so I have got Justin Fields at eight overall, to the Carolina Panthers. Then I think the Dolphins, who traded back to nine, get their pick here of Panay Sewell or of Rashawn Slater, either of the big tackles that could help protect Tua. And so I think they end up going Panay Sewell at number nine overall here. And I think that could probably be the same player that they would have taken at six. So they're trading back to nine and getting value adding picks later in the draft, but able at the same time to get the exact player that they would have taken at six. And then I still think Patrick Sertan is going to end up being the Dallas Cowboy draft pick. So that is my Wednesday edition of the OutKick Top 10. I think, Dub, given the fact that we are starting draft discussion tomorrow at 6 a.m. Eastern, I think maybe I will, depending on what the news is, I think maybe I will start the show tomorrow with draft picks, more of them, uh, and give you my top 10. And then in the third hour of the program, we are going to be breaking down as a group. The OutKick audience is going to be opening up the phone lines and getting all your bets in. So that is where we are headed. I cannot wait to break it all down. I hope that you guys will participate actively tomorrow in the show. It should be a lot of fun, and then we will keep tabs on it and see how we end up doing as a show 